Welcome back into the Sports Source. All right, uh, very quickly, guys. Unfortunately, we're gonna have, we could spend eight minutes talking on this, but we're going to wind up with two minutes because we've run over. This week, the Tennessean reported that a former vice chancellor at UT claimed that the UT Athletic Department had inappropriately pressured officials in charge of campus discipline and exerted undue influence that placed students and institutional integrity in peril. Tim Rogers uh, stepped down abruptly uh, a couple years ago. Uh, he said it was an intolerable situation. And in a meeting with Joe DiPietro, the president, he claimed that Chancellor Jimmy Cheek enabled athletics to wield undue influence. That's just for all those Jimmy Cheek hates athletics <laughs> folks. <laughs> Apparently not. Not according to Tim Rogers. Jimmy, you talked about this two years ago. I'll just start yeah. with you. Your thoughts on this, this story coming up. And is, do you take this seriously? One minute. Do you take this seriously? Or do you really think, or do you think this is something that probably goes on everywhere? Well, I think it goes on a lot of places. Uh, we knew about Tim Rogers' concerns when he stepped down, and the Jimmy Wright situation was another problem that they had there. Uh, the, Jimmy, the, the only thing I didn't know about that story was that uh, uh, Mac and Jula had been found guilty by the student judicial. I thought when he left campus it was dropped, so that was news to me. That was the only thing that knew to me that came out of there. But as in, in, interesting, you pointed out, Jimmy Cheek was said to be anti-athletic department. Now we're finding <laughs> out, wait a minute. But, in, but here's the deal. To me, what specific allegations do you have? Give me some cases. Yes. Don't say there's into influence. Okay, where? Who? What? It's like somebody telling me, you know, you make mistakes on your show. Well, okay, well, tell me the mistakes and then I'll respond to them. Yeah. But without specific allegations, I, I don't put a great stock into it. Yeah, and you talk Quick about, break. you know, the undue influence, and what Jimmy is talking about was the Mac and Jula ruling even public. Did people even yeah. know about that? So how much no. is going on behind the scenes, behind closed doors, you don't even know about? Mike, I, I, I'm not a big believer in the, oh, everybody does it defense, especially when it comes to cheating, because I don't think everybody does, not, not the same level. Yeah. In terms of the school looking out for athletes, oh, I do think that happens everywhere. Abso really absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, I, and I don't have any specific knowledge of anywhere, but, but I'll bet it's happened at Nebraska. I'll bet it's ha happened at Randolph-Macon and... Yeah. Uh, Harvard, you know, yeah, probably. Yeah, it doesn't make it right. No. It doesn't make it right, but I, I would be shocked if that didn't go on everywhere. All right, when we come back, uh, we're going to talk to Donovo very quickly about one of the most uh, interesting wild games in Tennessee basketball history, the 1982 LSU hit-and-run game. Come on back. <laughs> Want your own man cave? Turn to Benedict Construction 